Hey folks, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today is the day we're gonna have a look at a 2022 Paradigm model with 370 FB. I think it's the first 2022 Alliance Paradigm we've had so far. This guy weighs around 14 and a half thousand pounds or so. It's got some additional options that your standard Paradigm 370 is not gonna have. It's got generator, slide toppers, disc brakes, a few things like that. You know, if you don't like those things, no big deal. Uh, we can get them without for you. But like I said, with these options, around 14 and a half thousand pounds. I'm here with my friend, Brandon Hannemeyer. How's it going, everyone? Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. I gotta tell you, Brandon, you seem a little intimidated by this guy. You doing okay? I am. You're a little intimidated. Yeah, I need you to simple. G up, Brandon. Okay? You need you know, sniff, sniff of that uh, that old spice. Is that what you need, Brandon? Yeah, go home. Okay, right on. There we go. Right here we got ourselves a Rotoflex pin box. Shifts like this front to back. Helps you out with your chucking. Pretty standard stuff right there. Like I said, it's got the optional Onan uh, propane generator. 5,500 watts. Definitely an option. Uh, it's, it's on this one. It's an expensive thing. Our 50 amp quarters right here above. If the trailer doesn't have the generator, there's also just an option for gen prep, which is what this box is here, and some additional uh, wiring. Our battery in a box location is over through here, and then our uh, disc brake actuator is right in through here for our hydraulics. And then there's also some additional hydraulics for our slides, uh, the bottom slides right there. We have uh, a six-point hydraulic auto leveling, and then the two slides at the back are, are hydraulic on this one too. They're controlled right in from the, here. Then we have our 30 pound propane tanks, uh, one on each side. And then notice there's an additional propane line coming off here for your generator. Pass through storage, all the way through like that, nice and clean. Notice there's no plumbing in the way, nothing like that going on. This is heated off the furnace. And then one of the big things I love about it is our convenience center. We have nice, easy access to that for our water pump, our wiring, that kind of thing is uh, nice and easy to get to, nice and easy to service. Our convenience center is here, outside shower. Uh, we're winterizing, sanitizing, we're filling our freshwater tank. We're doing all that kind of fun stuff right in from this area. It's all sealed, so it's heated off the furnace. Uh, our gate valves are down here, motion sensitive light right here, and then outside receptacle at the top of that. Slam latch doors on this guy, so we just, guess what? Slam them down, bingo bango. Uh, furnace vent down below, 50 amp detachable style cord, and then a 12 gallon gas electric water heater. Let this be a lesson to you, watch your head on the slide outs here. Uh, put a little pool noodle there if you need to. Good looking aluminum rims. I feel like those are new for 2022, Brendan. I like it. I yeah, they, they look pretty hot. The front cap uh, looks similar, but the coloring has also changed as well from 21 to 22. There's a couple things inside we're gonna talk about too. As we come on the back side here, we have ourselves a class three receiver with four way wiring. So it is ready to go. You can tow a trailer behind this. You know, I don't love the idea, but there's lots of things I don't love in this world. Uh, roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. As we come around the door side, look at all the windows we got here facing our site. All right, nice big tall, uh, what do they call those windows, Brandon? What do they call them? Yeah, there's a certain, well, we'll see, there's a sticker right in there. Uh, so windows facing this side, uh, additional uh, awning here that starts right here on the main slide goes all the way here and then our secondary awning starts there goes all the way forward covers our front bath slide as well uh did you get the more ride Cree 3000 in the the shot there brandon i don't think so that's a Cree 3000 suspension it has three inches of travel on it which is fantastic really helps you out with your chucking and the rotoflex works well with that four step entry the top step here is nice and wide uh making that nice and easy to get into beautiful droopy lend a hand grab handle to get in friction door hinge all right, gas fitting down below, and then a little bit wider here with our pass through storage because the convenience center's not in the way. Beautifully outfitted inside and out. Let's have a look inside. Right on, folks, we're inside that Alliance Paradigm 370 FB. You're standing right at the secondary bathroom on this one, looking towards the rear. Uh, I mentioned it, but the main slide's on the door side, which gives us these wicked door side windows, atrium windows, Brandon, that's mm -hmm. what they're called. This is our power uh, recliner action right through here. Um, pretty slick, pretty comfortable. It's the Kensington collection. Um, goes nice and flat for us here. We're gonna, that's as far as it goes, which is basically Josh Allen's sleeping level, I think. Um, we do got nice lights here above me. A couple more lights there above the freestanding. Beautiful live edge on the table there. And then notice there's no table leg. 
below the freestanding table, so there's nothing to kind of, uh, you know, bang your knee against or whatever. Also notice there's no carpet here. It just finishes off things really nice and easy, nice and easy to clean. I'm walking in the main door. I got a spot I can sit down, put my uh, shoes on, take off my slippers, whatever you're doing. A little bit of a shoe storage there behind me. Spot I hang on my jackets. The wifey can give me a, spot, a list, to do list and put that up on the board there. Um, up here is into the bedroom. We're gonna get to that. But also as we walk by that, we got these nice closets here as you walk in. Our secondary washroom is right in through here. Porcelain right. toilet in the second washroom as well. Okay, nice stuff. Lots of space here. Epoxy poured cup tops for the bathroom um, uh, counters here. It's all soft closed doors. All right, even the secondary washroom. All that stuff's nice and easy to use. Beautiful gold hardware. Big fan of that. Under mount stainless steel sink. Black faucet. Beautiful mirror. Never met a mirror I didn't like. Into, brush off the sawdust. Uh, back into the kitchen area here, we have our pantry space. All right, motion sensitive light, lots of pantry space. Goes all the way up there. You can put some taller items, uh, maybe even kick some shoes off in there if you need some more shoe storage. And then this, this particular one has the 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge. They do offer the res fridge, the residential, uh, but this one is the gas electric just to maybe give you a little more flexibility for dry camping. But we got a generator, so who cares? Right here, we've got storage on either side of the microwave, all right, plates and cup action. Furion microwave, that's a convection on this particular one. Storage here above. And then a beautiful four burner insignia oven. Nice window behind it so it doesn't feel like you're cooking in the dark. Great counter space on either side of the oven so it doesn't matter if you're taking some off. That's easy, that's nice and easy through there. A ridiculous oven, all right. Throw your turkey in there, all right. Um, fantastic. Drawers on either side. Cupboards. Come on, there we go. And then, uh, you know, cupboards right in through here as well. Beautiful island. All right, nice and deep, long, so you get even more counter space here. There's a drying rack that goes over top of here, gives us a space to dry our dishes, pull out faucet, undermount stainless steel, and then we do have individual shutoffs on each plumbing appliance, so we can shut things off uh, and you know isolate something if you have a small leak or something like that. Right in through here, again, more soft clothes, I love it. Okay, awesome. Our TV entertainment center is across from our theater seats, which is where we started the video. And behind that TV, we do have uh, you know some storage. Our radios here, speakers, and then we got this pull-out hidden storage. I haven't pulled one of these out for a minute. Let me see here. There we go. And we got that nice hidden storage in through there. Put all your uh, what would you put in there, Brandon? Throw pillows. No, no, something that's illegal so that you don't get trouble. It's hidden storage. Not too illegal though, Brandon. A monkey. A monkey. <laughs> That's dark, Brandon. That's dark, buddy. Um, uh, we didn't need to go there for a YouTube video, but anyways, good storage there above. It's a smart TV, not a big deal. And I don't want to forget about the couch here. It's a trifold style couch, which is going to pull it into a bed for two people, especially if they're in love. And then we got receptacle down here on my side and a receptacle down there with down there with USBs. And then some nice little more hidden stores for some more illegal activity. Um, I'm not going to ask you what you're going to put there though, Brandon. <laughs> Storage there. Nicely backlit shelves up and through there. Beautiful living space. Uh, let's have a look at the bedroom and bathroom because that really just elevates it to the next level here. We got the king bed slide out in the slide. Bedside tables. Oh, check out the little cubbies over there on that side too, Brandon. Uh, all three windows around the bed open up, so we're gonna get some good uh, ventilation in through there. Of course, we got plugs. Of course, we got USBs on both sides. And then we got our jewelry tray where you can put some stuff in through there. TV across from the bed, which is awesome. Some more soft closed drawers in our dresser. Spot I can sit down, take off my socks. Storage underneath that even. And then check out this ridiculous, ridiculous main bathroom. All right, I'm just gonna sit here, take a break while you look around. It's, yeah, this is awesome. All kinds of floor space, a soft close lid, even on the toilet. That's fantastic. I'm six feet tall, up in the shower. Man, I could, it's almost six feet long. Like my windspan almost, you know, that's a lot of space here. Nice teak seat, upgraded shower head, skylight above me, glass enclosure, and then check out this front wardrobe kind of closet in through here. 
Boom. All right. A legit walk-in closet. You know why we call it that, Brandon? Because you can walk in. Um, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You, you know what I'm thinking, buddy. Look at all this shelving in through here. Hanging. All right. Washer dryer prep right here. Laundry hamper. Beautiful. And then you've got this beautiful vanity, right? With, you know, nice mirror here. Lights above. LED lights behind the mirror. Windows, receptacles, undermount, stainless steel sink. You guys should wash your hands in this sink. Again, poxy port tops, cupboards, three drawers on either side. And an additional cupboard right here. My goodness. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share that with your friends. Then you can email us here at sales at or you can call us at 705-833-2539. Have yourself a good day.